have that focused airstream and be bouncing the tip of your tongue off that airstream. We start off with homogeneous classes, meaning that every instrument uh, meets together in a class. So the clarinets meet together with the clarinets, the trumpets meet together with the trumpets. That way we can really get all the fundamentals they need for the next year when we mix everyone together and have full band classes. We teach them from scratch. Everything you know, in the first 10 days, you're already starting to read music. We teach them through the first sounds, how to take care of their instruments. Um, and then by the end of the year, we're playing a great concert and we call it Big Boy and Girl Music, where uh, we're on a stage performing in front of a bunch of people. We do a Christmas concert as well, so they're already able to play uh, concerts by Christmas time. Most of our kids have not touched an instrument before coming to the junior high band. We teach them everything within the first few weeks. Like for instance, we teach them how to be fluent in reading music within the first seven days. That is how good that we are with getting these kids ready for our seventh and eighth grade band and going beyond into high school with that. You get like a whole other family in band. Uh, the band directors are really nice and very inclusive and um, and also it just um, it's a very fun um, outside of school activity. You don't just have to do it at school, um, and you get to take your instrument home and learn a bunch of stuff. And uh, also, I found myself looking forward to band every day, so it's also something to have a little bit of fun in your school day. So, we think with, that you should be in choir because it's a family. And um, we, we want all everyone that can be here. And even if you're not in choir sometimes, you are always welcome to come in here for a safe place. And um, not only that, but you get to sing different genres of music um, from Italian to pop music and just lots of different things. You get to experience a lot of different things in one place. If you say, I can't sing, well, they can't play the instruments either when they first walk in. And so you'll learn skills along the way that one day you'll think, oh, why was I so nervous about this? And it's okay to be nervous because that means that you, that's adrenaline is gonna carry you through um, in those times where you might be a little shaky. Um, I would say to just follow the dreams and if it's something they want to accomplish in life and it's something that right now they can't accomplish, um, that's what choir is for, it's to get better. Well, my goal is to teach students to believe in themselves enough to create and to be able to be artists because our brain plays tricks on us uh, with angles and perspective and stuff like that, but a big part of it is believing in yourself. So I teach the facts and I push the facts. Um, they can probably tell you, do I push the facts, guys? Yeah. I push the facts until they get it right. And then believe it or not, then they have this beautiful masterpiece. I actually treat my sixth graders like they are future artists, like they, that it could be a career. Um, I try to awaken the talent that's inside of them. That's the truth. The difference between uh, PE and pre-athletics is pre-athletics is gonna be more rigorous. This is for students who are interested in learning about sports because they wanna play competitive sports. Um, as they enter in their seventh and eighth grade year, they're not able to play per UIL rules at sixth grade level, but we wanna go ahead and expose them to as much of that as possible in the sixth grade level and prepare them for the exercises, the routines, get them conditioned and prepare them as far as weight training, agilities, that sort of thing. In sixth grade PE, they do not dress out, but in sixth grade pre-athletics, in preparation for seventh and eighth grade athletics, they do dress out daily. Uh, they do exercise uh, and do uh, fitness activities, go to the weight room, things that our sixth grade, our typical, typical sixth grade class does not do. But as you can see, we also have a little fun.
It's definitely uh, kids coming in who are interested in playing sports at any point in their life. They can get into pre-athletics and we teach them how to work out. We teach them how to do the different sports we have here at the junior high, such as football, basketball, track. Uh, we teach them how to run, we teach them form. We're giving them the basics so that they can be better athletes throughout their life. We have a lot of great coaches here and we coach basically all of the sports, most of us. And so we teach you those type of basic things. So like we teach you how to do a bench press. We teach you how to do a deadlift. We teach you how to shoot a basketball. We teach you how to throw a football. Like we want all of our kids to come in. If you have any type of interest in athletics, come to us and we'll teach you everything you need to know. So one thing about uh, theater that makes it a fun elective is that you you get to be on stage, you get to learn different things, and there's all these fun games that, that you learn, things like that. And the best thing about it is when you get to high school, when you get to seventh and eighth grade, you're gonna have to do presentations. So this helps you overcome that fear of speaking in front of a crowd, speaking in front of people, um, and get you prepared for these presentations and things like that. So you don't have to have experience to be in theater. You don't have to have ever been on a stage, been in a play, anything like that. Um, here with the beginning theater class, that is what this is for, to teach you the basics, to get you on the stage. Um, at the end of the semester, we're putting on a play with all the, with the class. So you're going to get that experience and get that knowledge of how to do theater and how to do it correctly in these classes and to hopefully be able to actually compete in our UIL one act competition and things like that um, and act like actually for example our one act this year won first place at zone and so they're advancing to district which is uh, in a couple of days later so these are things we're trying to get you to do we're trying to uh, get you to have fun and join all these things so that way um, you're ready for high school you're ready for the next year or, or you're just learning something that you haven't learned before I love theater because you really you do get to do work, but you get to uh, get a relationship with your friends. You get to just have fun, and you don't have to worry about anything. I mean, you do have to do work, but not as much. It's really easy, and the free time you can just be with your friends, laugh, make memories. And when you go to seventh grade, you're gonna have new friends. In sixth grade, you know we get to be with other schools, and we can just make amazing friends and bond with them and laugh. Um, I'd say try it. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. You learn a lot. You learn a little bit of coding. Uh, learn a little, little bit of engineering. Um, we might be adding a little bit of electric, uh, electrical stuff to it as, as well. We might add some Adreno boards. So uh, the robotics um, uh, field is, is expanding and so are the classrooms as well. So we, we add stuff to it every year. What we also try to do is try to promote robotics, uh, as, not just in the junior high, but also going into the high school. There's a whole robotics team that fabricates everything and then goes and competes. And so we, we do a little bit here and there. We have our little competitions. We have little local stuff and then try to promote all the way into the high school. Well, I like robotics because we come in here and then we build projects and it's amazing that we can see how well people advance and go and see how people build their cars and all the different techniques to build. 